You know, as you were talking about showing up, I can't help but see the connection between showing up and commitment. Yeah. So when you think about commitment and, and, and when you think about soldiers, colleagues, people you've worked with in the past, even now as you see students, how, how do we, what does commitment look like? Yeah. Well, I think it gets a little bit to one of the things I've heard you talk about before is um, um, a little bit about uh, time management, willingness mm. to say no. So what I do see is um, uh, with a, a lot of folks is they take on too much and they are doing a lot uh, uh, at a uh, below average level. And they're not able to show up uh, and commit to everything mm. they're doing because they can, they, they, they're they struggling to manage the time to give enough to all the tasks. So they take on too much. Um, so learning how to, you know, what your own capacity is in terms of uh, being engaged and taking on uh, uh, not taking on too much to where you cannot show up and not be committed for the things that you uh, are doing, I think is important. Uh, and, and there's, uh, I think a little bit of growing has to go into that. I think we all have to go through that. I know uh, I personally uh, uh, struggle with learning how to say no after I retired from the army. I wanted to get involved in lots of things. And uh, you can uh, uh, obviously try to spread yourself too thin and then you find yourself not not uh, uh, being able to commit to everything that uh, that uh, you uh, sort of signed up to do, uh, and and time management is is, a, is a, I think something that we all have to learn how to do in order to one show up and and, and be committed to what you're uh, 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 agreeing to do. You know, right before we got into this conversation, before we started the conversation, you and I were talking offline about the three C's. Right. We'd love for you to kind of go into those a little more depth because it ties into this. Yeah. So I think uh, fundamentally to lead others, you need to know how to lead yourself. And I like to use the three C's to uh, be uh, illustrate what do I mean by leading yourself? I mean, to me, it means you need to lead, uh, 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 lead with character, meaning, you know, what are your values? Uh, uh, you know, uh, having integrity, you know, not obviously lying, cheating or stealing, but having, uh, uh, leading with a set of, values and, and leading with character. The second one is you need to be competent uh, at your job. Uh, you know, for business school students, that means that having the, the business acumen, you know, if you're going into marketing, you need to know as much as you can about marketing. You might not be the expert in the room, but you need to be competent at the skills that, uh, that, that the, and you have to have the insatiable appetite to learn as much as you can from those you work. So being competent. And the last one is credibility. Mm. Uh, uh, it gets to what we've just talked about. Uh, if you if you say you're going to do something, you need to be able to deliver, uh, and then you need to be able to communicate uh, along the way, because it's uh, not uncommon to, you know, uh, fall short in terms of delivering on time or deadline. So you got to. It shouldn't be a surprise to to your teammates or your boss that you're not going to meet a deadline that you said you were going to. You should be able to communicate constantly with them that, uh, you know, what the process is. So to me, it's leading with character, being competent and being credible in terms of uh, 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 leading yourself. And I can see how showing up would be important for really all yeah, three of those. That's right, that's right. I mean, because how do you demonstrate your values? Right. Well, by working alongside someone, but also how you work. Right. Uh, and then the competence and the credibility piece. You know, I've, I've, it makes me think this week, I've had a uh, round of 360 interviews for a new leader that I'm coaching. And this leader's gotten promoted to more an executive level. So he's first time on kind of the broader executive team. And, and one of the more uh, uh, tenured members of the team I was interviewing, he said, you know, this person's really talented. We all see him as very, very talented. But the one thing that he consistently does is he misses all the executive team calls because mm. he always says that there's something pressing in his part of the business that he needs to attend to. Right. And this person's feedback was, he said, you know, we're all busy. If the president calls a meeting, you should probably be there. Yeah, yeah. you should show up. <laughs> you should show up. <laughs> so I think somehow the pandemic has given us this belief that everything is optional. Yeah. And that we can just decide whether or not we want to show up to the president's call, decide whether or not we want to show up yeah. to class. Decide whether or not we want to go right. into the office uh, when you know uh, customers are, are in town or whatever it happens to be. 
and and maybe maybe we've gone a little too far. Yeah, I mean, you're signaling what your priorities are, right? Your presence obviously demonstrates your priority at that point in time. You know, uh, in, in my point in life, uh, you know, I can say family is important, but if I'm not showing up for my grandchildren's soccer team or or swimming match, then I'm not walking the talk. Uh, right. I've decided that something else is more important at the time. So that's become, you know, I've, I've made, I've tried to make family one of my values as I've, I've gone into this phase of my life. And that means showing up and being present. Uh, and if my wife uh, likes to remind me when I'm at home with the grandchildren, it means put, you know, trying to set aside uh, the, 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 the uh, uh, the cell phone, the computer, and not being drawn to it, which I'm not uh, as good at. As How I, often does so, he remind you? Of oh, that, all yeah. the time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not very good at, it, and my grandson too. But, uh, but uh, you need. A, we all need accountability partners, right? And people yeah. who are going to uh, hold us, hold us in check.